we had a, a listener a couple of episodes ago who was having Bluetooth interference and resetting your network settings on your iPhone can help eliminate issues of Bluetooth interference. I'm not, I don't think that would have helped with what listener Kenny was going through, though it might, uh, but the, you know, you go to settings, general uh, reset, and then reset network settings on your iPhone. And that will do a lot of things. It will erase the Wi-Fi networks that your phone knows about. So bear that in mind. Uh, it will, uh, but it, it will, it will fix a lot of things. I've had it fix battery issues. I've had it fix cell related data issues. Uh, I've, and I've had it fix Wi-Fi issues. I've never had it fix Bluetooth issues, but then again, I've never had Bluetooth issues to fix. So don't know if it would have fixed my Bluetooth issues. There's but, a lot of weird talking going on in there, though, between your laptop and your iOS. It, sure. By way of example, I've, I've gone in and found networks on my Mac that have oh, only been on my phone. Like, that's right. You know, somewhere in downtown Dubai. Yeah. I've, I've been with my phone, but not my laptop. And lo and behold, there's the network. They sync with iCloud Keychain. But what's interesting okay. is if you went on your phone and did a reset... Well, when I've done a yeah. reset network settings on my phone, right. I don't get those networks back. And it's oh. frustrating because I was at, yeah. I, I think it was at your house, John. And uh, I, you know, I had to get the Wi-Fi password from you, but you said, oh, I, I saw your laptop joined. And I was like, my laptop is literally, it was a one day old 14 inch M1 mm. Pro MacBook Pro. But I, it, you know, migration assistant did it, right? And yeah. and it like, it grabbed it from my old ones. I was like, Okay, why won't it give this back to my phone? Like that would I would really like that. That would right. be super handy. Right. So anyway, yeah. That's, that's but I've also noticed it's nice when you're on a network and someone wants to join, you can just give it to them. They don't yes. have to type in the password and go share the network. Mm -hmm. That's right. So, yeah. Yeah. Well, it's not just anyone. It needs to be someone obviously within Bluetooth range right. who is in your contacts list. Oh, interesting. I that's, didn't know I said to be in contact. That's how that, that makes sense. That's okay. how that works. I, I okay. think. Of course, okay. if 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 I've got that wrong or if you have anything to add, you'll to find this, out. <laughs> feedback at MacGeekab.com.